Okay, hello students. I've been asked to introduce the next topic uh, in your course to you, which is on topological order and the Toric code. Um, I'm sitting here in my office at the University in Aachen, and I work on quantum error correction and quantum information more in general. So what's topological order? Well, first we should imagine uh, what kind of systems we're talking about. We're talking about systems at uh, low temperature or zero temperature, quantum many body systems of interacting particles, such as a quantum Hall system or a system of interacting spins. Now, there's no rigorous definition of topological order in the literature. Usually, topological order is contrasted with the idea of local order or the existence of a local order parameter which characterizes a phase. A good example of that is the magnetization of a phase. So, other features of topological order which are um, uh, related to this, which are characteristics, are the following. So, um, a quantum many-body system will have a ground state, it will have a state of lowest energy, and this state may be degenerate or non-degenerate. And for a topologically ordered system, this degeneracy depends on topology. So if we have a two-dimensional system, and we put the system on a sphere, then the, the ground state will be non-degenerate, will be unique. Whereas if we put it on a torus, or we put it on a torus with many handles, this ground state degeneracy will be non-unique, and uh, it will depend on how many handles the torus has. Yeah? So um, now let's imagine that we put a two-dimensional system on a torus and um, the ground space therefore is uh, non-degenerate and we ask whether it's possible to do a local measurement on a few uh, degrees of freedom so that, we, so that we can tell which of the ground states we have. Yeah? So we do a local observation and we ask can we tell whether we're, the system is in this ground state or in the other ground state? The answer for a topologically ordered system is no, and this goes hand in hand with the non-existence of a local order parameter. A third feature of topological order lies in the nature of excitations. So for two-dimensional topological ordered systems, these excitations are abelian anions or non-abelian anions, and see, you'll see some of that demonstrated in the Tor code model in your course. These interesting features of topological order led Alexei Kitaev in 1997 to formulate the model of the Torah code, as you'll learn about. The Torah code really shows in its most simplest forms the, the ideas behind a topological order for a two-dimensional system. In this sense, I would say the Torah code is our modern-day Ising model, and it's also a very good example of a quantum error correction code. The Torah code nowadays also lies at the basis of a very attractive scheme for doing scalable quantum computation. This comes about as follows. You'll learn about the Torah code as a 2D lattice of spin and a half particles or qubits which together interact so as to via Hamiltonian so that this Hamiltonian has a ground space degeneracy on a torus. In this degenerate ground space, uh, this ground space degeneracy is four-dimensional. In this degenerate ground space, one can therefore encode new qubits. And these qubits will be better protected than the elementary constituent qubits from which, uh, this, um, uh, from which this lattice is built. So the idea is that once we build pretty good qubits with using superconducting qubits, or qubits based on Mariana fermions, we can put these together qubits together in arrays such that and let them interact together such that we obtain a system a many body system which has a ground space degeneracy or which defines a space in which we can put even better protected qubits i hope you'll enjoy learning about topological order and the torah code in the course <laughs>